hey y'all so welcome to another tutorial you're gonna watch me create this dewy um what did i call this a smoked out eye and a red lip but it's not really red it's like a perfect burnt brick color and i love it and this is my dewy look it is like a perfect look like if you see me up and close and personal and it's so hard you can't really tell with the camera but the face look flawless y'all like you can't really you know how you can be like oh you know look harsh but i think this is perfect <laughs> um but anyways i hope y'all put out all your products that y'all have to create a dewy look because i pulled out mine okay and we just put it all together and this is the look that it came up with it came up with i came up with but i hope you guys watched the whole video through i did the eyes first so be patient you can see the dewy look after the eyes um Pull all your stuff out, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you guys want to see, what y'all don't want to see, because you know, I'm a post, 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 post. But yeah, I really like this look, you guys. I hope you guys um, enjoy the video. Bye. so we are back with another look so today we're gonna do a black it's not really black but it's close so it's gonna be like a smoky eye and a red lip because I finally got my stuff from Mac so it's not even red it's like a burnt orangish reddish color I got two of them I'm kind of sick because they look the same but we'll do one of them okay so mm, okay so eyebrows I already did off camera so we're just gonna go straight in with the um, eyeshadow okay so we're gonna go in with this Mac and I'm just gonna use a transition shade this is my favorite shade G money here oh look I done reached a little pin here but here's G money I'm gonna go in with that forget I'm not talking I'm, I'm not doing a voiceover why am I not talking to y'all hey y'all okay <laughs> so um yeah so this is like my perfect I love this shade like this is my to-go transition shade I always do a transition shade underneath my eyebrow because it just makes everything blending good okay you just you see how you can see it but you can't see it it's like a perfect transition shade I don't know what I'm gonna do when this finally hit pan pan for real okay so that's gonna be in transition shade and I'm gonna show you I'm gonna go on with another Morphe palette transition shade it didn't take long okay so now we're gonna go it's honestly it's like a green color honestly I really wanted to do black let me see what that shade look like but we're gonna go in with this and we're gonna go in with this I may end up mixing that with black but let me see yeah I do this brush I'm gonna do just a brush that look like this Yeah, I'm gonna go in with the black just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna take another brush just in case I don't like it. I'm gonna go in with that palette that I did before and I'm gonna just take the black here. And I'm just taking that black and I'm going over that green color. And I may go back with that green color just so that you can uh, kind of see a little bit of that color. Because I truly thought, I thought that was like a dark blue, honestly. Like blue black. That's like green black, but. Now I'm going to go in with my transition shade, okay. Put a little bit on my brush and just blend out 
the two because again I didn't want my um dark shade to overtake my eyelid and you just want to blend it out so it looks like it's seamlessly blended in together okay yeah so okay now I'm gonna take that glitter shade here here and I'm gonna just take my finger okay so this is what it looks like of course it doesn't want to focus but this is what it looks like whatever and then we just gonna Go on top. I hope you guys can see because it's it's pretty. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other. define the shape with the black nothing still on it and I'm gonna just kind of blend out the colors I'm gonna put a little bit on the brush and don't worry if you're making a mess that's why I did my eyes first and you just clean up your mess there's no way I'm doing this before my after my face baby because that's just gonna be a mess that excessive eyeshadow that's on my eyelid or not even on my eyelid that's on my face okay wait a minute because I did that too low now I gotta start all over now I start all over but I gotta add more black hold on because I crazy so let me do that on both sides again okay one more time so much better Okay, so now let's get rid of all this. Let's see if anything fell down on my face. Yep, look at that. That would have been on my makeup. Again, I don't know how people do eyes like this after they do their makeup, but I can't. So we're gonna do a dewy look, y'all. I haven't did a dewy look in a while, so I got some stuff. I'm gonna show you how to use to create a dewy look. Okay, so to create the dewy look, first I got a moisturizer. So I'm gonna go in with the Glow Recipe moisturizer, and this gives me that moisturizer. Plus, it makes my face look nice and dewy. So I did a pump each on each side. We're gonna go in with the Glow Recipe again. This is the Dew Drops. I'm still, I still have my mini, and I bought a big one, so I need to start using this more because clearly I'm not using enough. And I'm just gonna put this on my face. On this, honestly, this is the staple to have a dewy face. This is it. Look, do you see how shiny my face is? We gotta put some on the bottle, cause baby. Look. If y'all pick nothing up, Glow Recipe is it, y'all. And it's worth it. Like, the strawberry one I didn't care for because I didn't feel like it did what it said it was going to do. But 
that do stuff. We're gonna let that sit on the face and we're gonna apply the Bobbi Brown Enriched Eye Cream. You know I apply that underneath my eyes. Um, this stuff, I love because it moisturizes underneath your eyes and even if you have dry skin, oily skin, you still want to moisturize underneath your eyes. I don't know, I just feel like this stuff, it um, prevents my um, concealer from looking all cakey and um, cracky. I made up a word, y'all. So even though we don't go in with a dewy look, we still want to prime the face because I don't want to walk around looking like I just came out the kitchen now, okay? So this is the e.l.f. Putty Primer. I'm always using this stuff. This is for real is a staple. I see people using that um, Secure the Blur. And I said I was going to try that, the one size primer, but you know, I just feel like, I don't know, certain stuff, I don't know if I'm going to venture out because this freaking works. Like, I don't ever have any issues with this stuff. I don't walk around even when I'm when I do this dewy look like it glow it glows in together well does that make sense because you know how you mix different products and you don't know how they gonna end up being together because I've watched people mix products and it becomes all flaky and they don't know why stuff is looking the way it is or feeling the way mm -mm. when it comes to the face products before the makeup I'm gonna stick to what I know and I know this stuff is good. So now I'm just kind of going over all the areas. I'm going over all the areas that I um, can get oily. Same with that um, an e.l.f. power grip. Uh, I do two squares on everything. So if you want to know how much I use, two squares. One on each side. And with this product, I push. Push in. It gets really sticky and it sticks to your hand. It allows your foundation and your makeup to stick, baby. I don't ever have my, my makeup on um, long, so. Face products, I like to seal it. And I seal it with this Morphe Continuous Prep Setting Mist. Looks like this. And then I let that soak in all my products, okay? It's setting in everything. And I'm telling you, when I do these products, I don't ever have no issues like I don't never have any issues when things are separating things look crazy I'm done and it only took me but five minutes okay so when it comes to dewy and it comes to natural looking the Nessic Marix got it down pat. I think last time I did it with the elf but this time I'm gonna do it with the the Nessic Marix um, skin tint this is in shade 13 and I'm gonna mix it in with this here this is the beauty oil and it literally makes your skin look like glass. This is the Nessa Myrix. We're just gonna put a little bit on the face. Okay, that's on there. And then, I lied, I think it's gonna get messy. So, and you see it has the golden little flakes. So I'm going to pick some of that up with the dropper and I'm going to put just like, uh, let it go between my brows <laughs> and I'm going to mix it that way. Okay. I did one drop. Y'all saw that and I did it in an area that does not make sense. So I'm going to just spread it. There we go. It's spread it. Yeah, my face about to be so glowy. My husband's going to be like that. Yeah. So I just use the brush, the Morphe brush. This is in doo -doo -doo, E63. I love this brush. It looks like this. I should have showed you, but it's shaped like this, and this part touches the face. And I literally just pat, 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 pat. Always make sure you bring this down, even if it's a skin tint, doesn't matter. Bring it down your neck because you want to make sure everything blends in together. You don't want to walk around looking like you got a mask on, okay? Okay, so I'm trying to finish this concealer. Um, the Born This Way I'm going to use in Butterscotch. So let's see. I'm going to just do just very little. Very little, we're going to see. So use the, the Laguna Nars in five this is the cream couture 
I usually don't ever think to pick this product up and I don't know why because this is good I'm gonna just pat it there we go I'm gonna put it on my upper cheekbones you see this is a good product and I don't know why I, I really don't know why I don't ever think to pick it up I've left on my brush I'm just going to wipe down here to try to snatch up that jawbone okay and try to stay upper cheekbone okay versus bringing it down because that's just going to drop your face so upper cheekbone upper cheekbone keep it up high And don't worry if you feel like you put too much because you still got to um, um, blend out that concealer. So now we are going to get our Lou, our um, Real Techniques setting powder. Setting powder. We're going to get our um, Real Technique setting brush that looks like this. And we are just going to start blending it out. And I love this concealer, the butterscotch. But you see how bright it is? I should have went in with the, with the maple on my chin. But I'm just using my foundation brush to blend it out so it is not too bright. Like I try not to use it a lot. And look, do you see how much that little bit of product underneath my eye that I put? Spread it underneath my eye. So I don't even know why I'll be trying to put so much concealer underneath my eyes. You want to make sure all your liquid product is blended in before you apply your powders because you're basically stabilizing what you apply and you just want to make sure everything blends in good that's all so this is my brush that i use for the contour no extra product on there and i'm just blending the two out you see i have my brush that i apply my contour nothing's extra on the brush and i'm really just going back and forth you just go back and forth you go back and forth And you see how that lift up your face? Okay, and it looks like this. It's a very, very pretty color. You see how pigment that is? Orange. And I'ma just do upper cheekbones, and that's it. I have learned to not keep applying until I see it on the camera. Cause by the time I look in the mirror with the lights on, I'm like, yo, you did too much, girl. They can see it. Like, isn't this a really pretty color? And with the Danessa Marks, this cream blush, you can put over powder. So you can always feel like, you know, once you set the face, you want to keep this color, you can go over this with the powder. And it's actually really pretty. I may do that. Because I said I was going to do red. But I'm just going to. I'm going to make sure everything's blended. Okay, so I'm going to take my moist sponge. Let me close the top of this. Ooh. I'm going to take my moistened sponge. And I'm going to just push in everything together. I'm going to make sure everything's blended. And you know, I like to go straight, um, straight in with my press powder. Make sure everything's blended. You see how flawless the face looks? Okay. I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me in Shade 330. Maybe I do, do I wanna do? Oh, that's too bright. 
330. I'm not gonna do nothing crazy. And I'm gonna take my um, Sephora brush 99, looks like this, and I'm gonna just pat, okay? I gotta make sure the creases are gone. Set. Remember, this is our cement for our loose setting powder. You want to make sure you blend everything out first. Before you apply this breast powder. And I like doing this because I feel like this is a, fall, a flawless face. Do you see how dewy my face is? Okay, so I got my Laura Mercier in Honey. We're going to use that. I'm going to use my sponge. I like to pat the powder first. Y'all know the drill. I pat on the powder. Get rid of any excessive powder. And then I just I go in. And I push, push, push. And I make sure that powder looks flawless. You know, because I don't like, you know, you see people baking and making sure you see the powder that puts so much powder. I don't like that. Because I know it can't look that good, up, you know, close and personal. I don't know. For me, I don't like it. Doesn't mean it's not good. Okay. Okay. Push, push, push. Okay. So that side is set. So you see the difference? Mattified. This side looks good, baby. But don't worry, we gonna put everything back on so it's not so bad. So again, same thing, pat, pat, pat. And we are just gonna push all the product into the skin. And I really was never a huge fan of Laura Mercier when I got this stuff. And I'm just like, the hype is just crazy. And I think Huda Beauty is better than Laura Mercier, to be honest with you. But that's my opinion. Who the hell am I to make an opinion? Okay. And y'all know I only bake on the nose. My shoulder to be my favorite bronzer. Okay, it's not my favorite bronzer, but it's my new bronzer, so I like it. Okay, so this is what she looks like. Very pretty, very huge. We are gonna go in. I'm going with this. No, I lied. I'm going with a small angle brush like this. And I'm gonna just pat. And you just want to go over all the areas that you apply the cream um, NARS or whatever cream bronzer product you use and keep it in the same area and remember I always start when I first touch my face when it comes to cheek molds, I start up here and I bring it down bring it down because you're almost like doing the ombre if that makes sense Forehead. And we brought some products down here, so we have to set underneath. Same product, black opal, bronze brew, angle brush, bring it in from the eyebrows all the way down to the tip of nose i really don't be trying to do the nose for a long time y'all and remember i always tell y'all the skinnier y'all want your nose to look at the skinnier you're gonna have this powder be on the tip of your nose okay so it's okay to get on top of the nose and that's it okay so now let's go in and set the rest of the face i've been in love with my fenty since i finally got the right shade i'm gonna go in shade 410 brush that looks like this actually wait i do want to carve up my face a little bit hold on let me just take my sponge
let's get rid of it because I don't like having it on my face for a long time because then you get that line that you end up having to fight I don't want to fight with it okay and we're just gonna set the face listen because I still want my glow to show within does that make sense I don't want to put too much powder after we didn't put the whole face with powder y'all okay so now let me take my morphe do, 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 do. we're gonna just make our powders settle do I have a and I don't have a dewy spray that's what I gotta get I'm telling you I'll be finding a reason to spend money because but this kind of lip, I would want to top it with a dewy setting mist, right? Mm -mm. For all mine's magnifying, but it's okay. Because mm -mm -mm. I'm still, I'm still glowing, y'all. So we're going to take our setting powder. Setting powder. Why I keep calling this our setting brush from Real Techniques? It was wet still. Okay, so we gotta fix that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm gonna let that sit on my on my nose a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back with my brush. My angle brush and just No product. Okay, so we'll work on the nose later. I may have to go back in with concealer, but we'll see. Um. Okay, so now, so we're gonna push our loose powder underneath the eyes. No product, no product. Just pushing everything we applied. And I like where I want to keep it like this. Because the more product powder I use, the less dewy. And I really want to go on with the Charlotte Tilbury in shade number one. I think I'm going to leave it alone, y'all. We're going to leave it alone. Oh, but you know what I'm going to do? We got to go in with the glow. The glow. The glow. 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 So I'm going to go in with this brush. This is the, it's like a highlighter. Um, press powder and it just kind of makes my face look like it's glowing that's it okay lashes is on I went with bushy and I like um okay so now I'm gonna do a black under the eye black under the eye I'm gonna use a black liner for under the eye I was contemplating between using this uh using like the white under the eye white waterline liner but I think I'm gonna just stick with black. Okay, so y'all, I think I messed up my nose, y'all. Let's see. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just take this and I'm gonna just Y'all see that? Mm, 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 mm. Mm-mm. So I'm gonna see if I can save it without having to do concealer because Lord knows I don't freaking feel like doing that. I'm gonna just no, I'm gonna go on with the lighter shade Fenty and 400. <sighs> okay. Because Lord knows I don't feel like going back to. I did exactly what it needed to do. You can't even see her no more. Unless you up close and personal and that means you're too close, honey. Okay, so we're gonna go in with the Anastasia eye palette. I'm gonna go in, I don't wanna do nothing too bright. Now that I'm looking at the colors, I think I'm gonna go in with this color. Let's see. Yeah. I actually think we're gonna bring it 
back up and bring it down. Because, yep, it did exactly what I wanted it to do. My broken, my broken um, highlighter. And what is this? Flaunt, flaunt, and rare beauty. I really love this stuff, but once I broke it, I was like over it. So you see what it looks like? So I'm going to just take the bunt. Okay. I'm going to close it so I'm messing up anymore. I'm going to do this. I'm going to I think that I have enough. Okay. Let me go. See? Boom. Oh, that is so pretty. Okay. Let me do it one more time. I got to do the other side. I got to be so careful. When I broke this, y'all, I wanted to die. My husband was like, just buy another one. I said, no. No, I'm not buying another one because the product is still there. It's just crappy now. Y'all see that, Shannon? Yeah. Okay, so let's do the nose. Let me just use my finger. box them lip liner we're gonna line the lips first This is Marrakesh, Marrakesh Mir, Marrakesh Mir, and this is what it looks like. And you know what it's like? It's like a creamy, creamy, I can't describe it, but it's not matte and it's not like a shiny color, okay? You see what I mean? It's so pretty though. You see how pretty that is? And it's like, you know how some masks come on shiny and then they mattify? Like, this stays like this. It feels like you have nothing on your lips. It's almost like a, I don't know what they call it. A lick, powder kiss liquid lip color. Okay, try the tipper. Let's, let's set the face. And I'm going to just take my brush and push it all in. Alright, this is the final look. I hope y'all enjoyed this because, yeah, this is giving. Whoop. This is super cute. You see how you still see the dewy look and all the powders that we applied? I mean, this looks like you, I mean, you have a whole face of makeup on, but it looks more natural than that whole mattify, mattify, you know, face look, but, oh, yeah, this is super pretty, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed this look, 
and I hope y'all pulled out y'all y'all brushes and y'all make y'all makeups everything you did this with me because I feel like I use product that um were common products to use except for maybe the um the glow recipe but I really recommend y'all get the glow recipe because that keeps my face glowy and like I said I use the same base product on my face unless I'm adding the dewy look and I add a little extra you know like the Danessa Marik beauty oil you may not have that but if you have the glow recipe I'm telling you make your face look nice and um sorry um dewy but this is the look y'all I love it Okay, so anyway, so um, yeah, if I have, if I'm up to it, I'll do um, what my look looks like when we come back, cause it's gonna probably be about three hours, and I'll show you what the looks looks like. But yeah, this is the face, and I love it, and I really like this lip, y'all. I mean, I recommend this lip. Like I said, this was like Mary Mary Me Kish Me color. Um, it's like not red, it's not orange, it's like it's like in between. It's like a burnt reddish brick color my other color that I have is more orange so y'all gonna see that but this is like a mousse that's the look that's the what I was looking for a mousse lip and it really felt like I don't have nothing on my lips like I'm gonna have to get this in nude because this is definitely a staple okay but this is the look let me change my outfit and do an outro I'll be back y'all